Hi everyone! First of all, I just want to apologize for not posting a video for almost a week. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know that I am in the process of moving. So, my life has been crazy over the past week or so. I mean, moving when you have like a lot of makeup is something I don't recommend to anyone or wish upon anyone because not only makeup, but I have like so much nail polish and so much perfume and you know, just all the girly stuff. It's been taking me forever not to mention moving like I have some mirror dressers I need to move like down a flight of stairs up a flight of stairs um yeah so I've been moving I'm still in the same city and everything I just am moving to a new apartment and it's been absolutely crazy so that's why I haven't posted a video in almost a week so I apologize about that first and foremost also the background of my videos are probably going to be completely random for like the next couple weeks and in this video, I wasn't originally going to do, but like the last week or so, I've had like my, my entire subscription box has been like Christmas hauls and I loved watching them so much. And then I also got so many emails from you guys wanting to see like stuff I got for Christmas. But anyway, I actually just figured that this video would be very, very fast and easy for me to film today because I haven't posted a video in so long and I want to get a new video up on my channel. Um, so I decided to just film this video for you guys because doing a tutorial, I don't have all my makeup here and lighting and everything and I just this would be quick and you guys want to see it anyway so yeah so I thought I would just show you like the makeup related kind of stuff that I got for Christmas even though Christmas was like two weeks ago and I'm like all everyone has already done this video I'm just gonna get right into the haul um the first thing I got was a Christmas look at my bangs are you kidding me oh my goodness okay and this shirt oh my god I'm just like all over the place today um okay anyway the first thing I got is this philosophy silent night it's a soothing lavender shampoo and shower gel so I absolutely love the box there's like glittery snow on the bottom um it's just like literally the cutest box ever and that's why I still have it even though this has been in my shower for like the last two weeks I still have the box because it's so cute um this is how it looks it's like a light purple um, doesn't look purple on camera, but it's actually purple. And you can use it as a shampoo, um, but it makes a really amazing bubble bath, and it also makes a really nice, um, you know, shower gel, so. Okay, then I got two nail polishes. They were in my stocking. They're by Essie. I actually asked for these, so I was expecting them, but they're really pretty colors. This one is Chinchilli, and this one is Merino Cool, so. Here are the names. Chinchilli is more of like a taupey gray. This one's more like purpley. I don't know if you can even tell. They kind of look identical, but they're not at all. Like, they're really pretty, so I'm happy about that. Okay, next, if you guys know me, then you know, if you watch all my videos, then you guys know that, like, I'm a huge perfume fanatic. I love perfume. And I was so excited, so excited about this perfume because I thought it was actually completely sold out. Not sold out. I thought, like, they stopped making it in general. Um, but they didn't since I got it for Christmas. Before Salvador Ferragamo Encanto Shine, which is like my signature perfume scent, before that, this was my signature perfume scent. I went through three bottles of this, and this was, this is going to be my fourth bottle now. So my mom is like amazing and got me this, and I'm so happy because it's the best. And it's by Victoria's Secret. The scent is called Supermodel, and the bottle itself is so gorgeous. It has like a rainbow iridescent to it. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, supermodel. There's my camera. Um, and it smells so, 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 so good. I, like I said, I, I'm the worst person ever at describing how things smell. But it's very sweet and yummy and it's like unlike any other perfume out there. You know how sometimes you can smell perfume and it smells like other perfumes you've smelled? This is definitely one that's unique to itself and I am going to be using this exclusively probably for like the next three months until it's completely gone because that's how much I spray it. Um, but it's so, yeah, it's gorgeous, like, gold box, but of course, like, Christmas was two weeks ago, so it's, like, I threw it out, you know, but I'm so excited about this. A Visa gift card, you know, I got, um, where it just, like, has money on it, so, oh, so I went to my local Mac store, so even though I bought these myself, the Visa gift card was a Christmas present so this is kind of like a Christmas haul so I went to Mac because the champagne collection came out and I really wanted these paint pots they're really gorgeous I got chilled on ice and vintage vintage selection mm -hmm. so chilled on ice is like a um kind of like a gold color very very sparkly like very goldy my favorite which is this is probably my all-time favorite paint pot that I've ever purchased from Mac it's called vintage selection so um it's cause I love it because it's kind of like the same tone as a lot of um, eyeshadow or yeah, as a lot of eyeshadows that I wear on my lid in the first place. 
and it's very very opaque a lot of coverage it's just a really natural color I love it so I bought those that's all I got from the collection everything else oh I did want the nail polish but it was sold out and they have it online but um I just didn't feel like buying it I guess plus I found this color in my nail polish collection which kind of reminds me of the new nail polish from Chappelle this one though is called um swing baby it's by china glaze so kind of looks i picked up a mac wipe love these i'm obsessed with the scent i wish everything smelled like these um and then okay i picked up two eyeshadows and um like an eyeshadow palette to put them in and of course i get home and the girl gave me a blush palette not an eyeshadow palette which was so annoying because i didn't want to drive all the way back so i've literally been storing my two eyeshadows that i just bought in an msf because I don't want them to like break, you know. But yeah. So I got Vex, which is like a um kind of like a greeny, well, like a I don't know, neutrally greeny kind of color. It's really pretty. And then I got green smoke. There you go. Really pretty green. Makes a really pretty crease color. And I actually wore these two together and they look absolutely beautiful together. The next thing I got, which is kind of funny because it's like a tradition in my family, my mom gets me one of these every single year in my stocking, Mary Kay Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I get one every single year, but <laughs> but I literally have almost a full one still in my medicine cabinet. So she gets me one every year, but I'm never out of like the previous year's bottle. And I think at one point I had like three of these going around my bathroom. Yeah, so it's really good. I, I haven't actually used Mary Kay makeup, but one of my mom's like really good friends sells Mary Kay, so... She wears a lot of the, my mom wears a lot of Mary Kay, but yeah, so I got this, and it's funny because I get this every year, I get a bubble tape every year, if you don't know what that is, it's like, um, like bubble tape, it comes in like a circle thing, and like you, it's bubble gum, and it like comes out like a tape dispenser, and I get one of those every single year too, it's like a holiday tradition, and like, we have like weird traditions in my family, um, but yeah. Okay, and then I got something that is really exciting for me because if you've ever watched any of the makeup tutorials I've done so far here on YouTube, I've had a really hard time doing them because I use my little screen on my camcorder as my mirror, which is not a good idea. Like, I don't recommend that to anybody. Um, but I didn't have a makeup mirror. So, of course, I was looking at a really, really nice one at Bed Bath & Beyond, and my boyfriend was with me, and so that's what he got me. Um, so he got me this for Christmas. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond, like I just said. The brand is Zadro, Z-A-D-R-O, if you can see that. Um, it's a really, really nice makeup mirror. The price, where's the price? It was pretty expensive. So I'm kind of debating like if it's even worth the money because the lighting it gives off is so intensely bright. It is dimmable, but it's like very, very bright, almost to the point where when I turn it off, I like see the light still in my eyes. And it kind of what when I I've tried to film some tutorials like just playing around with it, and it seemed like um it just like washed me out, and these bangs are gonna drive me insane. Yeah, so I'm kind of debating if like I should keep it a return um 10 time magnification on one side and just like a regular mirror on the other side and you can like um like tilt it down and tilt it up and it's really nice so it's if you're in the market for a really good mirror that one has been working for me but again I don't know if I love it even though it's so expensive you would think for something that's so expensive like it would be good but I'm thinking that maybe I don't like it so we'll see and if you watched my very last video, which was a December favorites video, um, I showed you guys that Michael Kors watch that I bought for myself. I bought it around, I think in November, number one, two, and so I got that one for Christmas. It's really pretty. That's how it looks. Really sparkly. It's just a really, really pretty watch, and I love Michael Kors watches. They're probably my, it's probably my favorite brand of watches, so... I thought I would just show you guys that because I told you I wanted the silver, I was asking for the silver one for Christmas. Contest coming up soon because I think I'm around 2,000 subscribers away from 10,000 and I know that's still a lot of subscribers away but I was thinking I could either put like a video up or a video up a um, contest giveaway up on um, like up this week and then when I reach 10,000 that'll be the day that the contest ends so, but then I was thinking that could potentially be like two months you know so maybe I should wait until I reach 10,000 and do the giveaway so let me know your thoughts about that and also you have to follow me on Twitter in order to be entered to win that so just a little heads up so I'm gonna link my Twitter my Facebook below and my blog I have a blog but I totally have been neglecting it I've only posted twice 
Um, but that's going to be completely separate, I think, for my YouTube. Like, I'll post, like, um, random reviews and stuff like that on there. And I had a request to swatch all of my YSL Rouge updates, which I will do that on my blog soon, like, you know, on me and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's polishandpearls.com. I totally forgot. So I'm going to link everything down below, so check that out. And if you have any questions for me, let me know. If you have any video requests or tutorials or anything that you want me to film, you know, this coming week or whenever, then let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Um, so this perfume, before I show you it, I just want to talk about it. Before this perfume, or no, before, hmm... Yeah, so, so, but then I had a, um, okay, then I had an actual, then I had a, um, Target, or not a Target, yeah, it's really pretty, and it would actually make just a good, um, color if you are, and then my, okay, okay, then, um, but it's, um, that's how it looks, just like pink, and it's a really, really good, and it's definitely like a really, really good eye makeup remover. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. <coughs> Breathe, Jenny.